Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video we'll see how Copilot Studio securely connects to services. Specifically, how it goes ahead and registers these apps in Azure in the back end and even assigns certificates. So I'll show you how when an agent such as Coffee Machine Agent is created in Copilot Studio, now when you go to the back end and see Microsoft Azure in app registrations, you will already see a new app automatically registered. So stick around because this video is not just for the Copilot agent makers, but also for you IT professionals. Because after watching this video, you will have a good understanding of how securely the Copilot agents connect with Azure services. But first, here's my intro video. So before I start demonstrating all of these configurations, I just wanted to make sure you and I are familiar with some key terminologies that I will use both in this video and something that you will come across very often. And therefore, I'm going to do this quick lesson on Azure. So the important things I need you to be aware of is what is an enterprise application, what is a service principle, and what is an Azure app. And don't worry, I'm not gonna deep dive too much in it, I'm just giving you an overview. So let's start with the enterprise application. Enterprise application is how you go ahead and register your business applications that you develop. Now, don't get confused by the term develop. It's not that something you are building from scratch or ground up, but anytime you go and start using some service, say even on your Microsoft 365 site, it will register as an enterprise application in your tenant. And so when you go ahead and use it, it also manages the access. Specifically, how do you go and grant access for that application? Is it handled through a single sign-on or SSO? And as far as the application goes, who are the users? Can we go ahead and add them as groups or even who are the owners? All of that is handled at the enterprise application level. All right, so now let's take a look at service principle and this is very important. You may also see the term SPN, that acronym show up. It's all the same thing, service principle. So service principle is that secure identity that allows applications to access Azure resources. But what makes service principle different is that it is used to connect to data without a user identity, specifically not a service account, it is a service principle. Because let's face it, a service account is tied to a user or at least a user-like person. And if that person goes away, well, you're gonna have problems with your system. But at least in service principle, that's not the case. So for the service principle, these are created and registered in Azure Active Directory. In fact, I'll even show you that service principle that was created in my tenant. And what's so special about my tenant is it was actually created as a power virtual SPN because that was there before Copilot Studio came in. All right, so the last thing is the Azure app. This is the process of registering an app in your Azure Active Directory. And in our scenario, every time you create a Copilot agent, it does get registered as an Azure app in your tenant. And I'll demonstrate that to you. The main importance for an Azure app registration is this is what allows the authentication and the authorization of that Copilot Studio agent or its app across all the other services. So if you take a look at all of these Azure application management, this is how it works out. There's a service principle. There are all these other services that you wanna to talk to. There's the enterprise application and the Azure app. But this is how it works. When your Azure app, say our Copilot Studio agent, wants to talk to all of these other services, it will go ahead and utilize your enterprise application leveraging a service principle. So now that you at least have an idea of what these terminologies mean, let me go and show you how the configuration on Copilot Studio works. So let me show you what a finished agent configuration looks like in Azure, and then we'll also create one from scratch. And I'm gonna start from the Copilot Studio side. Here in one of my environments, I have this agent called Coffee Machine Agent, and it's actually one that I've used in my other videos. So when I went out and created this agent, if I go to Microsoft Azure, and if I go on app registrations, and by default it is called as owned applications, but if I go to all applications, right over here, you see Coffee Machine Agent, that's the one that was automatically created in the backend. I didn't have to do anything. When that agent was created in Copilot Studio, this one automatically get generated. And here's a little tip. 
any of these agents that are automatically created, you will see that it will have a open and close brackets and in that it will be called Microsoft Copilot Studio. That's a little tip that I picked up so that now when I come over here in my Microsoft Azure for app registrations, I know that these are the ones that have automatically been generated. Now, when I go and click into one of them and specifically come over here to certificates and secrets, you will see that these certificates are automatically created. And that's a very important thing because this is what is needed for that secure connection from Copilot Studio to all the other services that we are utilizing in our agent. It's quite a beautiful process that happens automatically in the backend and that is what makes it secure. But in addition, if I now go over here into my owners and roles, you will see this Power Virtual Agents service. This is that service principle which is already created. Now I just want to call out that my tenant, I started using Power Virtual Agents a long time ago, like almost five years ago, and then I transitioned over into Copilot Studio. That is why in my tenant, you see Power Virtual Agents. In yours, you might see Copilot Studio Agents. That might be the one as well. So I just want to call that out that this is what I see. You actually might see something else or you might see the same thing again, depending on how far back and how early you've actually utilized it. But now that I've shown you this Power Virtual Agents, let me show you that enterprise application. I'm going to come back to my home and I'm going to my enterprise applications. And over here, I'll just remove all of these filters and I'm going to now search for Power Virtual. That's all I'm doing. And right away here, you see Power Virtual Agents. That is the service principle that has been automatically created. And that is what talks directly from the Copilot Studio into our Azure site. Now, recently a change has been made with especially UIT admins or Azure admins need to be aware of this because you might get tickets about this, which you have no clue what it's about. Well, let me show you that. A recent change happened where now when you go ahead and have these Azure apps registered very specifically from the Copilot Studio site, there is a change that has happened. Let me show you that, all right? So I'm gonna come in over here and now when you go into this authentication, you see over here, the accounts in any organization, directory, any Microsoft Entra ID, multi-tenant, this is what it used to be in the past. However, any new agents that are created, they will now by default be single tenant. And this is really good. It does help make the security a little bit more tight, but I have seen people having issues on the agent side functioning and they really have a tough time figuring out what it is. I would recommend the Azure admins to at least come and take a look over here for say, hey, has this been changed? Okay, so it's gone to the single tenant. Let me switch it back into the multi-tenant and see if that fixes the problem. If that was not the root case of the problem, go back and put it as single tenant, but at least this is one of the troubleshooting steps that you should be aware of. So as a quick recap, new agents will by default have the first radio button selected, which is for the single tenant. So now that you understand all of these Azure app registrations that I just talked about, let's go ahead and create a new agent from scratch and we'll see how it's created on the Azure app registration side. So I'm gonna show you two examples. One is when an agent is created directly from the Copilot Studio site and second, when an agent is created from the Power Apps Canvas site, all right? I'll show you both these examples. So for the Copilot Studio site, I'll just go ahead and use one of these templates that we have. I'll let everything be as is, this is all good. Yeah, we don't need to see the template instructions. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll click, click on create. Now the agent is being set up. It's going through all of these processes in the back end, and very soon we will see the agent created. So here we go. It's now actually taking us inside the agent studio. We are seeing all of this created, all right? Even the description is getting loaded. The instruction is getting loaded. In fact, I've done a detailed video on all of these other templates. It will be in the description below. You can go check it out. But again, for the sake of this video, this is all that I wanna do. I wanna go ahead and now create this agent. And everything else is good. I'm not even gonna modify it. The agent is all created. In fact, I don't even have to click on the publish. What I'm gonna do is jump straight over to our Azure app registration site. Um, I'll just do a refresh just to make sure everything is good. By default, it goes on the owned applications, switch over to all applications. Also, you may not immediately see it because it, the created on that column needs to be filtered. So if I select it, it goes in the increasing order. Let me select it again. It goes in the descending and voila, this is today's date. And you see there, safe travels and in brackets, the Microsoft Copilot Studio, 
this was the agent that we just created. And so now that Azure app has automatically been registered. And if I click on it and we go and take a look at these certificates, see in this case, three of those certificates automatically get created. And if you go into the authentication side over here, voila, like I just said, all the new ones now have single tenant. So this was the first demo, all right, that we went ahead and now created a custom agent directly from the Copilot Studio site. Let me show you the second example. So here we go. We go now into my Power Apps, and this is an existing Canvas app that I already had, all right? Let's just go and do this one, Build Agent From App. In fact, this was one of the apps that I had used just to demonstrate how an agent is automatically created. Um, so if you're interested in that, I've put that link also in the description below. So this is what we're gonna do, all right? Here's the Canvas app. I'm gonna click on these three dots and I'm gonna say, create agent from app. Now it goes ahead and puts all this information over here. I'm just going to go ahead and select one of this. this is delete MFR records. I'll just go and select that one. And now I'll click on next. When I do that, this is the name. This is the descriptions. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and say uh, co-pilot. I'll, I'll say agent two and I'll leave it at that. Now I'll go and click on create. It's going ahead and generating the agent, which is going to be used to go and do all of this stuff. If you noticed, we are in the Power App side, but now technically we are taking a look at our agents. So this sometimes takes a few extra seconds because it's going ahead and actually creating all of the agents for us. Once this is complete, when we go directly into this environment over here and click on the agents, we will see the new one created. Therefore, in fact, it's already done. Agents to delete an MFR records. This is the one that we just created. Now what I do is also come back over here just to make sure it is all being done. So it's actually still finishing it, so I'll leave it as is. I'm gonna click on close over here. Let me come back to this side and I'll go and now select it inside over here and we'll just make sure that all of this is finished. I know for a fact that this agent is not completely built because the publish button is grayed out. Moment I see the publish button available for me to utilize it, that's when I know that the agent building is completed. Sure, you also see that the description and instructions is still loading. So let's give it a few minutes. Let this thing finish off. Awesome. The agent is completely built, just like the first one. I'm not even going to go and hit on publish. What I'm going to do is jump back into our Azure app registration, go back to Azure apps. Let me just go and do a refresh. Perfect. And there you go. Because it was already filtered, I see this one, agent to delete MFR records. And once again, it is inside the brackets. It says Microsoft Copilot Studio. That's a tip. When we go in over here, we go and take a look at our authentication. It is now to the first one, single tenant. And when we go and take a look at the certificates and secrets, you see them automatically gener generated. So this is pretty awesome. In fact, not a whole lot of people know that this is happening in the back end, and now you are one of the few people. So this is pretty awesome because the overall synergy of Copilot Studio with your tenant has become so much more secure automatically. So let's go and recap these two important things. First of all, if you go ahead and create a custom agent directly in Copilot Studio, or even through a Power Apps Canvas app, you will see an Azure app automatically registered for you in the Azure site. And remember that tip, you will see your agent name, and in brackets, it will say Microsoft Copilot Studio. When you now go and click inside it, which is the second thing, you will see that it already has certificates registered over there. But now on the authentication side for all the new one, the supported types will be for single tenant. So if your agent is running into some problem and it's kind of not talking across services and it's having authentication type problems, come back over here, switch it back into the multi-tenant and see if that helps troubleshoot your problem. If it doesn't, switch it back again to the single tenant, all right? Make sure you don't forget that. So hopefully this video has been useful to you and hopefully this gets you excited because you just have upped your knowledge, not just as an agent, but also as an IT professional. And as always, keep using Copilot Studio. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.